My name is Nina Camplin and I'm the online arts facilitator for the Beastie Gallery. Welcome to another one of our live watch parties and today is actually going to be the last one we're doing of these for a while and um, to round it all up I've had several requests to do a version of the, the tiger that's quite often behind me when I'm um, doing these parties so um, people have seen it and they want to have a go at doing it themselves. So I'm going to do it. This was actually done in um, acrylics on canvas and it's quite large. But So I'm going to do a smaller version and I'm going to do it in watercolours today. So just to start off, I need to um, reverse the camera. So just bear with me a sec. So what I've done here is I've started off, I've put a background down already because it needed to dry. So all this is, is um, I wet the paper and then I just threw on some burnt sienna and some yellow ochre and I've drawn out a rough guide for the tiger as well. This picture was actually um, from a photograph that I took when I was on one of my mural projects and I was actually on scaffolding that was higher than the enclosure fence so I had quite a good view of the, the tiger and I took a few photos while I was up there. And I'm going to start off I'm using a, a flat brush and I'm going to start off with just the burnt sienna and I'm going to add this in along its back. So yeah, when I put this on the background, I have stripped some of it back. Let me just show you. Because there are white areas on this tiger where there are no colour bar, I just use a, a damp sponge to remove some of the colour where I didn't want it. And then I've left it to dry because I wanted it to be dry when I put the new layers down. So I'm just going in with burnt sienna. This is just burnt sienna watered down. Take it down its leg as well. And I want to have a soft edge to this um, burnt sienna. I don't want this harsh line. To blend into the white. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean my brush and I'm just going to run a wet brush and let that flow out into the water. Get rid of that edge there. And the same on this part here. And there's several areas of this that are a little bit darker. I'm just going to add, while it's still wet, I'm adding some burnt sienna mixed with some burnt umber just in this shoulder part to darken it up. Now on, on his underbelly here, there's a bit of a shadow. I'm going to use the burnt umber with some ultramarine. So just under the belly here. And then going into this leg. That's a fade out white, so I'm going to just run a clean brush along the edge of it to get a soft edge on it. And I've got a similar shadow underneath the tail as well. And again, soften that out. On the back leg. Soften that out as well. And just so this makes sense, I need to put this ledge that he's standing on. That's just burnt umber with a bit of ultramarine. I'm going to start adding the stripes in. Um, I don't like to use um, black because it's just too harsh. So I've mixed ultramarine and the same colours I've got here, burnt umber and ultramarine. Quite intense though. 
just going to start working from the tail end. I'm actually following the um, the line of the, the fur, so I'm putting them in kind of like tiny little strokes. My guides have disappeared a bit here, so I'm kind of making this up a little bit now. Doesn't really matter. Look, it looks like a tiger when you just put stripes on it anyway, so... So it's got quite a dark shade around his head here and it kind of blends into the, the body. His face is quite blurred in this picture so I'm going to keep the detail quite loose. I think it needs to be a little bit darker underneath. Put some more brown in there. Try and blend that a little bit. So his face is a little bit obscured. There we have it. Sending tiger, and I'm just going to turn the camera around again. So thank you for joining me today. And if you do anything at home, any kind of painting, whether it's the tiger or anything else that you have um, ideas for, please do post it on our um, VC Gallery page on um, Facebook or the Bright Side, because we'd love to see what you're doing. And I may catch you again soon because I will be doing more live watch parties, but not for the next few weeks. So I will see you again soon. Bye.